conceptual perspective. People talk Real about talk, it. Like throwing shots. All of the elements. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you back. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. I have a real quick question. What are you doing that is leading you towards that thing you have claimed, declared, uh, and established that you desire in this life, whatever it is, whether it's to be impactful, whether it's to be the best in your industry, whether it's to be financially independent, whether it is to meet and marry the love of your life. How are you preparing yourself? How are you taking it from a point of desire and manifesting it by actionable steps in processes of thought, in processes of behavior, in processes of preparation, what are you doing? What are you doing to be the best that you can be in any given area? Remember, you don't get what you want. You get who you are. You get what you become. You get what you are capable of. In the instances in which there's something you desire to do that you haven't done before. What you have to do is become the person who is capable. You have to develop into the person who will attract the type of spouse that you desire. You must become the person who is capable of generating the type of revenue that you desire. You must become the person who has the talents and the skills combined to produce the impact that you desire and seek to produce. It is not about waiting around for someone else to discover you. It's not about sitting around and waiting on the perfect timing. There is no such thing as the perfect timing. The perfect timing does not exist. The perfect timing is when you decide to take the first step. And when you take the first step, the doors of providence, the gateway of providence will open up to you. Doesn't mean that everything that you attempt is going to be easy. Uh, to the contrary, the things you desire in this world that are worth having require work, require commitment, require require perseverance and persistence. It's not about winning every moment. It's about staying in the fight. It's about picking yourself up and dusting yourself off. It is about doing what most people won't do. If you want to have what most people have have never obtained. If you want to have what most people don't have, you're going to have to be willing to do what most people won't do. You can't meander through the maze of mediocrity. You can't play the game of being average. You can't have a desire to be like everyone else. That's not where you're going to win at. That's not how you're going to come out on top. You've got to rise above the, 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 the pull of the world to fit in. You've got to rise above the pull of the world to, to, to appear like everybody else. You gotta be willing to have many people laugh at you because you don't fit in, because you're not like them. Uh, I tell people all the time that when I was younger, I, I wasn't like everybody else. Um, in some ways I was, but in many ways I wasn't. And I would get laughed at and talked about and teased. Uh, but who has the last laugh? Because most of the kids who tease me have never seen the success that I've experienced, have never been able to do the things that I've been able to do. Uh, I thank God for parents who pushed me 
to step outside of the boundaries of average, to step outside of the desire and proclivity to be popular, to sit up and desire to be the best that I possibly can be. If I'm not going to do my best at it, don't touch it. If I'm not going to give it my all, don't touch it. That's my challenge to you. Establish a desire and a push for excellence. Become the best you can possibly be. Do the best you can possibly do. Grow into what it is you desire to be because you will ultimately end up producing who you become. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget, if you haven't joined up for the 30-day Your Best Life Challenge, join up. If you haven't gotten the latest book, um, definitely look in the description box and click the link. Uh, we're up to book number 22. Uh, I am likely going to have at least one more book before the end of the year uh, published. I'm working on that now, uh, but definitely click that link. Whatever you do, make a decision. Hopefully somebody will choose uh, to go. I mean, really, truly get all and go all in and work with me directly. Uh, just got off with a client. It was very fulfilling. It was very empowering for the both of us. I love the energy that's created when I work with people. But hopefully some of you will definitely uh, take that route. But whatever you do, you've got to make a commitment to yourself to be the best you can be. You can't meander through life. You can't casually walk through life. You can't sit up and wander through life. You got to make a decision. You got to be decisive. You got to be precise in what it is you want. You got to be clear. You got to be committed. And I am challenging you to do that. Uh, as I always say, I'm going to live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. My challenge to you is to do the same. On that note, I'm out of here. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in houston dallas and other areas uh, i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the odyssey project is doing in the inner cities uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.